In Act 4, Scene 3 of Macbeth, the scene unfolds in England, where Malcolm, Duncan's son, engages in an elaborate test of loyalty with Macduff, who has recently fled from Scotland. Malcolm begins by casting doubt on his own suitability to rule, suggesting he would make an even worse king than Macbeth in an effort to gauge Macduff's honesty and intentions. Malcolm paints himself as a man of such vile character that he would be a greater tyrant than Macbeth, filled with vices and devoid of any kingly virtues. This strategic self-deprecation is designed to provoke a reaction from Macduff and test his loyalty and moral compass. Macduff, deeply loyal to Scotland and distraught by Malcolm's claims, initially tries to reason with him, suggesting that some vices can be overlooked if overshadowed by virtues. However, Malcolm continues to assert that he possesses not a single redeeming quality, which exacerbates Macduff's distress. Unable to bear the thought of Scotland suffering under another tyrant, Macduff openly laments the fate of his beloved country, revealing his true patriotic nature. This emotional display serves as a turning point for Malcolm, who then discloses his deceitful tactics, admitting he actually does bear the qualities of a good and noble leader, and that his earlier confessions were a test of Macduff's loyalty. Just as Macduff passes Malcolm's test, the scene takes a tragic turn with the arrival of Ross, who brings news from Scotland. He initially hesitates, but eventually reveals to Macduff that his wife and children have been slaughtered by Macbeth's orders. This devastating news incites a profound response from Macduff, ranging from disbelief and grief to an unquenchable desire for vengeance. Malcolm and Macduff resolve to wage war against Macbeth, driven by a shared commitment to justice and the restoration of Scotland's rightful monarch. Aside from the central theme of loyalty and integrity, this scene also touches on the miraculous healing powers of England's king, Edward the Confessor, introducing an element of divine justice and contrasting it with the dark, witchcraft-associated reign of Macbeth. This distinction underscores the moral dichotomy between Macbeth's tyrannical rule and Malcolm's rightful, benevolent claim to the Scottish throne. The scene emphasizes significant themes like the importance of virtuous leadership, the devastating impact of tyranny, and the inviolability of familial bonds, setting the stage for the impending conflict and the ultimate quest for retribution against Macbeth. If this video was helpful, please smash the like button and tell me what you would like to see in our next Bookly video in the comment section below. This has been another Bookly Crash Course.